Okay, so like, honestly, who hasn't spent time on Google trying to figure out how do I make employee experience better? Right. I mean, everybody wants a good team. You want them to be engaged. You want them to be happy. But there's just so much. Yeah. So much stuff out there. It's like, how do you even? It feels overwhelming, right? It does. It feels like a whole thing to even get through it all. So today, we're going to try to go a little bit deeper. We're going to look at a company, the strength company. And they say they've kind of figured it out. They've found the secret. They call it employee experience design. <laughs> Sounds kind of yeah. like, is it really a thing? It's a little like, I don't know. I get a little skeptical when I hear like design thinking and buzzwords, yes. all this stuff. Everybody says they haven't figured out. So, yeah. But what was interesting to me about this company, the strengths company, is that they're really leaning on using data. Oh, okay. So it's not just like a feeling, you know? Yeah. They actually have a process. Yeah. And it's structured. It's about really understanding. And that's where, I mean, 17 areas of well-being, seven life cycle stages. Seven. When I saw this whole list, I was like, is this too much? We've got like the normal stuff, right? Physical health, yes. mental health. Right. And then things I never would have thought of, like bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. <laughs> what sense of purpose. Well, and it makes you think like, have you ever worked somewhere and there's so much red tape? You know? Yeah. Or a job where maybe you liked it okay, but the culture just felt a little off. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of their point. They're saying yeah. all that matters. It's like those little tiny annoyances can actually build up. They add up. To something bigger. Totally. Okay, but then on top of that, they're like, there's seven stages from the very beginning, finding people to hire all the way through to when somebody leaves a company? The whole, yeah, the whole life cycle. I mean, how does that even work? Well, they're saying you can't just focus on one little part of it. It's going to be the whole thing. Like, think about it. When you started at your job, did they set you up for success? Ooh, good point. Or were you just kind of like... Thrown in. Thrown in. Figure it out. Did you have a chance to grow and learn new stuff? Each step of the way, they're saying... That's a chance to make things better for your employees. So it's not just like these. Not just checking boxes. It's isolated so. moments. It's the whole journey. Experience. But yeah. you know, it's one thing to have a plan. It's another thing to actually do it. To do it. Right. And that's, I think, what I find really interesting about how they lay out their process. Because it's five steps and it's practical. It tells you how to get from point A to point B. Okay. So break it down for us. What is this magical five step process? So first, they do this big assessment, like a company-wide audit. Okay. And it's not just like your typical rate your manager from one to five kind of thing. Oh, I bet. So what kind of things are they asking then? Think about it like, how much do you feel like you belong here? What about the company's ethics? Do you feel good about those? Do they support you in like growing as a person, not just as an employee? That's so much deeper than just like, are you happy with the snacks? Right. So they're getting all this information, but then what? What do they do with it all? So that's where this result analysis comes in. They don't just look at the big picture. They get granular. Like, what are the different demographics saying? How do different departments compare to each other? Even looking at people's individual journeys through the company. So they might see that like, oh, the marketing team is feeling completely burned out, but sales is totally energized. Exactly. And then try to figure out, okay, why? Why is that? What's going on? And so that's got to be where it gets really interesting because yeah. it's not just a one-size-fits-all solution anymore, right? No, no, not at all. It's about actually tailoring things. So it's really strategic. It is. Okay, so we're moving away from just generic employee engagement through this like strategy. Strategic and very much tailored okay. to that specific company. Uh, so we've done all this data. We figured out what's wrong. We've got these pressure points. How do we actually fix it? Right. What yeah. do they actually do? So, for example, let's say they find out that the onboarding process is really lacking. They'll help to, like, revamp that whole thing. Wow. From the moment someone even thinks about working there to do they have a mentor program, that whole process. It's like they're really there yeah, along yeah. the way. Yeah, it's not just here's the problem. Good luck figuring it out. It's we're here to help you. And I love that it's not just these like band-aid solutions. It's yeah. like, how do we make this better long term? Long term. And they have actual methodologies for like hiring the right people to begin with, how to help leaders be better, even changing your HR stuff to be all digital. They call this whole phase proven interventions. So it's like they're trying to make HR more than just people who push paper around. Absolutely. Like, they're they're strategic partners. Important. Mm -hmm. They should care as much about the business doing well 
as they do about the employees being happy. And that... That's kind of a different way to think about it. It is a very different way to think about it. When you the, really... So it's about actually making HR better, not just like... Not just faster and cheaper. Or something. It's actually like... More effective. More uh, more effective. Yeah, because if they're just seen as like the policy people, you know, the rule followers, right, right. they're not really going to be able to change anything. And this is about more than just like, are people happy at work? Right. This is like a whole different... Like deeper than that. Yeah. They actually say that being engaged, you know, like, oh, employees are engaged, that's not the goal. Right. That's the result. Okay. If you do all this other stuff well, then people will be engaged. It's not the other way around. So it's not like we just throw perks at the problem and hope it goes away. No, no, no. Like yeah. a ping pong table will only get you so far, right? Right, right. So how do you actually do it then? How do you create that environment where people are, I don't know, they feel supported, they feel valued? Well, think about where you work. Do you feel like you can actually speak your mind? That's a good question. Do you feel like there's room for you to grow, learn new things? I feel like we get so caught up in our day-to-day, -day, like, got to get the work done. Right. That we don't even think about that stuff sometimes. Yeah, totally. But this company is saying those things are important, like how your manager leads, even just the actual physical space where you work. That all matters. Right. Like, if you go to work and you feel like you're just a number, yeah. it's going to be hard to, like, get excited about it exactly you're not gonna be doing your best work if you feel like that and they even talk about like your work should feel meaningful you know it makes sense uh -huh. okay, but be honest how realistic is this not every company has you know tons of money to throw at this you're right i mean this company even says this whole thing it works best when you really tailor it to your specific company okay there's no one right answer for everybody so how do you even know where to start then that's where this data part comes in again you can look at what your people are saying, what's important to them, where are the areas where even a small change can make a big difference. You don't have to do everything at once. So you don't have to completely change everything. It's more about... It's about being smart. Being smart about it. Okay, so you're saying you don't have to boil the ocean, but you got to at least like dip your toe in. Yeah, exactly. you got to be aware of what's going on and try to make it better. This reminds me of like all those companies that are like, we're going to get a ping pong table. We're going to have casual Friday. And they think that's going to fix everything. Right. Like that's the solution. Yeah. But this is so much like deeper. It's getting to the root of it. It's mm -hmm. more like, you know, instead of just putting a Band-Aid on it, let's figure out what's really going on. A ping pong table is fun, but. It's not a long term solution. Exactly. And honestly, I think that's what's so interesting about all this. You know, we talk about employee experience all the time, but this is like really getting into. It's more than buzzwords. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than just like a trendy word. It's like, how do you actually make a company where people want to come to work? And not just like survive the day, but... Survive. Yeah. And when people feel good about where they work, they do better work. Right. Helps everybody. Right. It's like that whole thing. It's all connected. You can't just be like, this is the employee experience box. Yeah. And it's everything. It's separate. Right. It's got to be part of the whole culture. The leaders have to be on board. It's all connected. And this framework, yeah, it's a lot. But it makes you think about, like, everything your company does, are we letting our people be their best? It's like you're holding up a mirror and saying, yeah. be honest, how are we doing? And what can we do better? And honestly, I hope that's what people listening to this really take away from it. Yeah. You don't have to do every single thing this company is doing. But you can at least start thinking about it. Asking those questions. Exactly. And um, trying to make things better. Because this isn't just about being nice to your employees, though that's always good. Of course. But it's like... You're actually going to do better as a company if you do this. Absolutely, 100%. It's good for everybody. It is. Well, this has been great. I feel like I've learned a lot. Me too. Yeah. I always like talking about this stuff. It's so important. Definitely. And for everyone listening, we hope this has given you some stuff to think about too because, you know, we're all just trying to figure it out as we go. We are. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.